Hey guys, Beats here, Plumbing here, and today I am here with my 2005 Standard Height Gerber Ultra Flush Toilet. Uh, this toilet also came from a Walmart, the same Walmart as the Crane Economizer, and those were acquired by OCC Plumbing and Restorations, and he had passed them along to me, so thank you very much. It is kind of weird, again, to have a toilet that came from Walmart, and I know OCC Plumbing and Restorations has a video of these installed in the same Walmart where I got these two urinals over here, a Crane Cromwell and the 2020 American Standard Washbrook urinals. These both came from the same Walmart that this Ultra Flush and this Economizer over here came from. So the I, I don't know if I have the tank lid for it or not. I may have left it at OCC Plumbing's house, but I also have a couple Ultra Flush tanks from the rear outlet ones I've gotten in the past. So I'll probably just end up using one of those tank lids if he doesn't have the one, but, or I, like I could have just left it in the van or I, I really don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set you all up on my tripod here and I will give you all some flushes. So here is the first flush. I honestly really like the flush on this toilet. It's fairly quick. It's a little noisier than a majority of pressure assist toilets, but again, it's a pressure assist toilet, so they're gonna be a little loud. So um, overall, this design is pretty interesting. I've always wanted a floor mount ultra flush. I've always really liked these and the elementary school I used to go to. I've been to a few different elementary schools, but one of them actually had uh, Gerber ultra flushes and just going to the bathroom and seeing them, honestly, uh, I don't know what it is, but I've, I've always just kind of liked the way they sounded, the design, the flush. So it's, it's cool to finally have a floor mounted ultra flush, but here is another flush. Another thing I like about the ultra flushes over the economizer um, is the fact they have a much quicker and efficient flush. Both toilets have a pretty decent water level in the bowl, but this one has a faster, more efficient flush in my opinion. So let me drop y'all down a little bit. And I don't know if y'all can see, there is a Gerber logo there, but it's very, very faded. You might be able to see it a tiny bit, just that little bit of gray. But uh, so unfortunately the logo is pretty much faded, but there is another stamp in the tank. Here is another flush. Another cool thing in my opinion that Gerber did, uh, they put the brand name on the flush handle. And I know Gerber's not the only company to do this. There are several other out there, um, several others out there who put their company logo on the handle. But um, you don't see it too often now, which kind of sucks. I wish more companies would do it, but here is another flush from a side view. If I can get my tripod to focus here or not my tripod to focus, my phone to focus. Alrighty, here is another flush. Overall, this isn't really a bad toilet. If this were comfort height, this is something I'd definitely put in my house. But considering my new house that I have been building uh, has commercial fixtures in it, this unfortunately would not work because there is a flush on your toilet and urinal in there. Uh, there's also this kind of interesting hole in the back of the tank. A lot of pressure assist tanks and older Kohler toilets like the Rialto and San Rafael had holes in the back like this. Uh, this one obviously has one, but I think the San Rafael and the Rialto has like four holes along the back. I don't know what it's for. And then there's also this notch and then there is a Gerber logo. And actually there is a date in the tank. You can see it says 60105. But uh, here is another flush. One thing about these toilets I'm not a fan of is the very narrow trapway. Even though these toilets aren't bad performers, I feel like this, the very skinny trapway opening um, like worsens the performance. I feel like if they would have made it a little bit bigger, bigger and moved the siphon jet up front just a little bit more, I feel like it would probably be better, but I really don't know. But um, that's just kind of my thought. The tank is almost full and here is another flush. There are two jets back here that are kind of angled outwards instead of inwards. That's not really that big of a deal. It still gets the bull rinse done uh, on that side at least. So um, yeah, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and as always, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.